Okay, it's just a quick tutorial to show you how you can trigger these uh, animations just via blueprints. Um, it's very, very basic. I'm not going into major, major detail here, but you'll need an animation asset um, like this one. Um, she has an animation. Never mind, she's not the same person, but anyway, don't worry. It's an animation asset with a certain number of animations we can add. So, what we're going to do, we're going to create blueprints, actor, this trigger. That up, and I'm going to pull my skeletal mesh into here. So now that's part of the blueprint. Let's just compile that. We'll go to our event graph, and what we want to get is a reference to that skeletal mesh in your blueprint. So you're going to pull that in and get Louise from that. I'm going to say play animation, and we're going to choose an animation to play. Simple walking animation here. If you're not walking, that'll do. But we need something to, to trigger this animation. Um, either we can do it on uh, beginning play, but that's not what you want. So let's just add a key. And then we'll choose a key. I'll choose F. I think it's in your case it is FP, but anyway. Compile, save. That should be pretty much it. Um, obviously, the game mode, whatever, doesn't know which player is which, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. But let's pull our animation here. So see I don't actually have any game mode set up here, so I'll just put the default game mode on. Um, that's just so I can have some camera control. But the most important point is on your animation blueprint, just set it to order receive input. And player zero, and we'll hit play. So we'll just have it around here, and the key was F. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do. Um, we can get a bit more fancy with that. And as you were using, was a flip and a flop. Second here. So on F, we wanted to play the animation. You can also say stop. Pretty much it, man. Good luck.